I've always been pretty skeptical of sound wave therapy until I saw this particular study that demonstrated that it is in fact potentially possible to boost testosterone using a particular sound wave frequency. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas and if you're brand new to my channel, please hit subscribe below as I'll be releasing some really amazing health content over the next coming months. So ultimately today I'm here to discuss sound wave therapy to boost testosterone. Now, I've always been someone who has been very skeptical when it comes to hippie-like modalities and things like that, but this particular study that I'm about to present really caught my eye what i want to do is look at how this is in fact potentially possible and how we as humans can leverage the power of sound therapy so firstly we need to understand what are sound wave frequencies what we know is that music of the frequency of 528 hertz has lately attracted the attention as a healing form of music usually the reference tone of tuning is 440 hertz and this is the international standard frequency which we refer to as just normal 440 hertz type of music in general this specific type of music using a scale including 528 hertz is called the solfeggio frequency music what we're going to do is we're going to hone in and focus on this particular frequency this 528 hertz is also known as the frequency of health and longevity and its vibrations lift the heart and divine forces in harmony with creation and nature this is what a lot of you know spiritual healers and other you know forms of alternative medicine talk about they refer to this particular frequency as the love frequency basically it helps to awaken spirituality but i'm not here to talk about any of that sort of stuff although i am spiritual i don't really want to dive into that what i want to look at is the physiological outcome the actual mechanism of action how this may actually work so here we can see different sound wave frequencies so we have starting from the top we have 963 hertz moving all the way down to the bottom at 174 hertz now we can see that the top is considered the crown or violet below that we have the indigo following that we have sky blue or the throat chakra the heart which is green the solar plexus which is yellow the sacral which is orange and the root which is red but what we're going to look at specifically now is the heart frequency the 528 hertz so this first study really caught my attention and it was looking at the effect of 528 hertz music on the endocrine system and autonomic nervous system now this particular study was published in 2018 now what they wanted to do was analyze the effect of this 528 hertz on various hormones in the body and specifically looking at biomarkers of stress one of which you should all know by now which is cortisol and another one which is oxytocin now oxytocin is considered the love hormone and it's actually known to promote bonding and you know affectionate behavior and so this particular study recruited nine healthy participants a man and eight women between the ages of 26 and 37 years of age and essentially what they noted was that in the 528 hertz condition the mean levels of cortisol significantly decreased chromogranin a tended to also decrease which is another marker of stress and then oxytocin was significantly increased after music exposure so when i found this particular study i was like okay there must be other effects of this 528 hertz what else is out there of course you guys know me i dive into the the most underground places to find novel research and that's why you've probably subscribed because you love seeing all this new and fresh content and that is when i found this particular study although it was in rats brains it is very promising so the study was titled influence of various intensities of 528 hertz sound wave in production of testosterone in rats brain and analysis of behavioral changes now this study was 
completed in 2019. So it is fairly new. And what they looked at was how this particular frequency can influence the production of testosterone in rat's brain. And they're looking at different uh, intensities of the sound. So I'll dive deeper into the study very shortly. What the authors noted was that they were basically analyzing the effects or the outcomes when administering 528 hertz on testosterone production. They were looking at the concentration of testosterone in brain tissue. Now they noted that testosterone concentration in exposed brain tissue to sound wave had significantly different with control groups after 21 days. Testosterone production increased significantly in the 528 hertz at 100 decibels. So you can see that actually the other intensities of the noise were actually detrimental to testosterone and that only the 100 decibel group showed a positive effect on testosterone production. So you can see the graph there that illustrates that the 100 decibel intensity at 528 hertz was the most effective at stimulating testosterone production. So you can see that at intensities of 80 and 120 decibels, the increment of this star protein was less pronounced. On the other hand, the level of the mRNA expression of the P450 aromatase gene was decreased profoundly only at the experimental group treated with 100 decibels and did not change significantly for other intensities. So demonstrating that 528 hertz, 100 decibels can inhibit the aromatase gene, which is the enzyme that converts our testosterone into estrogen, which is pretty pretty crazy when you think about it. And see that the level of testosterone testosterone in brain tissue was markedly higher when exposed to 100 decibels and the mRNA level for P450 aromatase gene, which is involved in the destruction of testosterone, remained steady at 80 and 120 decibels intensities. However, it was decreased at 100 decibels. So you can see that in the diagram below. One other point that they noted was that more testosterone equaled less anxiety. Many of you will have heard me talk about this in my testosterone course. You'll see a link down below to check that out. But you can basically see here that more testosterone production resulted in a reduction in anxiety. And this was evident by the time that these animals were spent in open arms and the number of open arm entries, which is it's a pretty funny study where they look at how animals respond to novel environments and whether or not they would proceed to a, a new environment. And so they use this particular study, which is a study or a, a way of measuring anxiety response. So we, we saw that the group that received 100 decibels at 528 hertz noted a reduction in anxiety, which is awesome. So how does 528 hertz actually work? The authors noted that to elucidate or to show a mechanism for change in concentration of testosterone, the steroidogenic acute regulatory protein, which is STAR, just keep a note, it's, we're focusing on STAR, and cytochrome P450 aromatase total mRNA expression was investigated. The acute and rate limiting step for regulating the synthesis of steroid hormones is delivery of cholesterol from intracellular storages vesicles to the inner mitochondrial membrane. The ionic interaction of calcium with star protein permits transport of cholesterol through the mitochondrial membrane. And this basically is the first step to, you know, create our sex steroids. So the authors noted that it seems that increased testosterone observed in the study entirely affects were through altering the expression of the key regulatory genes, a star, P450 aromatase and SF dash one, stereogenic factor one. Now to put this in a graphical terms, you can see in this diagram here that, you know, cholesterol is the beginning substrate and that star enzyme converts that cholesterol into the first substrate through P450 eventually into pregnenolone. So I found this study very interesting. Perhaps this is another modality that we can use as part of, you know, icing the balls. I've spoken about that on my channel before. I'll be looking into how we can use this particular frequency specifically specifically just for testosterone. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Be sure to check out all of my other social media channels, my Instagram, check out my website, and also do check out my testosterone optimization course where I go into other crazy hacks to uh, maximize testosterone. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please do me a favor, hit like, and please leave a comment below as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. 
All right, peace out.